is my VW Caddy Micro Camper and today we're going to do a van tour and show you how this one is slightly different than all the other ones you typically see out there on YouTube or on the campsites. As you can see, I'm six foot three. So how do I manage to sleep in the back of this caddy? Now most caddy camper builds in a maxi tend to have the back seats removed or they didn't have back seats at all in the first place. But this is an approach that we could use because we have kids. Actually, we have two kids and they are both massive. I mean, I think they take after the mum. But because we have kids, we had to find a different approach to enable us to use this as a caddy camper, but also as a usable vehicle that will fit two kids in and two adults to just go out for the day. So how did we do this? We came up with a design that utilised the back seats in a way that would mean they become part of the bed. It was a simple strategy and one that we think works really well. You might ask yourself, John, you mentioned before that you're pretty tall, so how do you sleep in here? Now, <laughs> admittedly, headroom isn't great, but to be fair, <sighs> I had to sleep quite comfortably in here. I can move the seats forward and I don't know if you can see there, but at this point, my feet aren't even touching the back seats. I've not closed the doors, but this is virtually a double bed. These pillows probably need a bit of improvement, but we do normally take our house pillows with us. Yeah. Oh. That is one real downside to the Caddy Camper, and it is headroom, especially when you are six foot three point five, which I may add. And I only know it's a point five because when I was measured at hospital, they told me, after my wife had been trying to convince me for years I was six foot four, half an inch counts, doesn't it? Let's be honest. Now, because of this setup, ow, uh, headroom. Now, because of this setup, there are some limitations when it comes to cooking. The ability to cook in here is somewhat difficult, especially when the two of you are sleeping in the back. However, when we got to go on a campsite, that is really quite easy. Stealth camping it is a little bit more difficult, but just to show you the actual cooking setup we've got, here we go and pull this lever out here and then under here there's a little lock and then there we go now in this section here we have a stove a jet boil the trusted ridge monkey every van has got to have one of those i mean if you don't have a ridge monkey do you even stealth camp it's a tiny one i do need a bigger one but allison said that about a lot of things that i own we also have the kadak barbecue can get it out. The Caddock barbecue. This thing is awesome. If you don't have a Caddock barbecue, well, do you even stealth camp, bro? And a lot of people, when they talk about these Caddock builds, do have an issue with storage. And this Caddock build is no different. We have utilized these little pockets up here. It's got my cafetiere in, some candles, tie wraps. Always need tie wraps, don't you? Like wherever you go. Uh, coffee, coffee cups, and then just little bits like our pump torches, cups, and then up here we have some additional mini lights that we use for putting on the caddy when we're outside because they are magnetic. Six quid off Amazon for two of them. I mean, where can you get anything for six quid? Uh, yeah, and then also we have the storage section here. In this bit here, please ignore that dust and crumbs or whatever that is. In the UK, you can't go anywhere without one of these. This also stores our table, our fire pit, and our chairs. All just in that little section there. And that just locks into place, and there we go. Now this probably isn't interesting for the stealth campers amongst us, but for when we go on a campsite, the problem with a caddy is space. Now we thought, actually, let's give ourselves some external space and put this awning on from direct four by four. Now this has been a game changer. It's a two meter by two meter, folds right out, creates that little bit of an external space for you to chill under when it's raining. We have actually sat underneath it a couple of times to escape the sun, which is, yeah, that doesn't happen in the UK a lot, does it? And as we mentioned before about space being a premium on a Caddy Camper build, we've also got one of these. Now this top box is one that I just got from Halfords a couple of years ago. I mean, it is a bit disgusting we've got some shoes in there and some more manky pillow I need to up my pillow game here but we tend to throw bags of clothes up here or anything also that may get a little bit muddy from time to time that we don't want to dirty up in the back of the caddy 
Now another major issue with a build like this is where do you put your leisure batteries? And to be fair, we haven't. That's one thing that we haven't put in. However, that doesn't mean we don't have power. Now under this box is the power. Be aware, it's, it's, I don't know why I'm saying that, there's nothing special about it. Basically, you take this box off here. This is a box we made ourselves, We're taking out the middle seat because we didn't need it. And then we have the EcoFlow Delta Pro 2 Max. Eco Delta, yeah, one of them. But this is absolutely fantastic. Now, I think I've used this a couple of times now and for a three-day weekend it has powered the fridge that we have which is an alpicool for a full weekend and then we got home and it still had 44 percent battery which is just fantastic and it was about 20 degrees outside so it wasn't like it was five degrees or 10 degrees and the and the battery pack didn't have to work that hard it was actually really warm we use it at vw action if you've seen that video and i think most of the days it was about 22 degrees still got home with about 40 odd percent battery on that from three days so what a piece of kit that is. And also, the Blue Etty. This is a smaller battery pack. This is actually 268 watt hours, or 600 watts. But Alison has used this before to put a straighteners in and straighten her hair. So, how many times can you do that on a leisure battery before it dies? I mean, these are fantastic. You can charge them on the road. I don't need to tell you about EcoFlows and battery packs because I'm sure you have seen hundreds and hundreds of re reviews and videos on those. But for me, that is the best option to get power to the back of the caddy and make sure that we can have a fridge. So, one last major consideration that I suppose compared to other caddy campers, this is where we really come unstuck, is a toilet. Where'd you put one in here? We've just got no room for it. You can't even put a portable one in. And then when the bed's set up, then you've got no chance. So, at the minute, We've got this. Now I got this off Amazon for about six quid. I mean, I suppose ultimately you could just use a two litre Pepsi bottle, couldn't you? Or a an other Coca-Cola or Tango or Fanta, any one of those. But I just thought I'd buy that because I think maybe it looks a little bit more inconspicuous. Well, it doesn't, does it? It looks like a piss bottle. But I suppose you're not gonna be carrying around two litres worth of apple juice with you, are you? And swilling that out of a grid somewhere, so. We're just using that for now. I think I've seen one on Amazon. I'll put it up here that I might get. That's a foldable one. Also at this moment in time, we've just not needed it. And the last couple of times we've done a stealth camp, we've actually been right close to the toilet. So although a member of the public did try and open the door while I was uh, evacuating my bowels the last time we did go, and that moment of panic where you think someone's gonna open the door on you and you've got to grab it and hold it back, there's no panic like it. <laughs> I mean, there probably is, like maybe if your parachute doesn't open, if your parachute... Not the parachute! You don't open parachute! You know, skydiving, maybe there's, maybe that panics more, but, you know, being caught with your uh, pants around your ankles mid-flow, yeah. I didn't enjoy that. I think actually, just to mention one of the other things we've used, which hasn't turned out great, is this hammock. Now, it does work, and the clothes do stay up there, it's just not the greatest solution because as you can see it droops quite my piss bottle's just fallen straight out of the van if someone walks past now they think i've just lobbed that out of the van full of piss anyway yeah this it just droops a little bit maybe i could tighten it up or put a few more hooks in that was the shiwi section of the piss bottle that just fell out of the van as well Anyway, yeah, the hammock, it's good. It works every now and again, I suppose. We could probably make it work better. We just, we just haven't bothered at this moment in time. I suppose one of the last things is entertainment. Now, I see a lot of these caddy camper builds and they have a projector. Once again, due to the build, I just don't think it is something that we can make work at this moment in time. However, I got this off Amazon the other day and that, is a game changer. This is just a little tablet holder that I put the iPad in. And the good thing about using the iPad when we are stealth camping is you can put your AirPods in and no one can hear outside, which I suppose with the projector, 
you probably can be heard as people are passing by, especially if it's somewhere that's quite public. But I put the tablet up there, put my AirPods in, and that's it. You can just go to sleep and chill out with that playing. It does eventually turn off, and then it just falls back up like this, and hopefully it does it first time. Yeah, look at that, straight out of the way. Now another great piece of kit that you could probably do with, especially if you are camping, and maybe not stealth camping, is one of these. Now this goes straight in to this here, like this. Made it a bit more difficult than, uh, than maybe it should have been. And then, shut the doors of your carry camper, and it should take 17. Just lock in there, and as you can see, the door is open, but you can lock it from the outside, so you do get a bit of fresh air. Now this is probably a little bonus item that I actually forgot to mention, however, if you haven't got Vanex curtains, and this is not pay promotion, in fact, unpay promotion, let's just make a point of that, because I've not got any promotion yet. But if you are considering, or if you've looked into them, or anything along those lines with the Vanex curtains that fit straight with the caddy, then do it. Pull that trigger. I think I've said it before, but look at these. I mean, I fit these myself with, yeah, fair enough, I did have a bit of help, but I did all the drilling into the metal and things like that. This is, that's idiot proof. If I can fit these, then genuinely a chimpanzee and a blind dog with one leg how does a dog get around with one leg? Maybe it has two legs and it can use its tail to like hold a drill. I don't know. I'm just saying that that is, they're idiot proof if I can do it. And also at the front bit here, which I'm not gonna get them all out now because, but we've got the Vanex curtains at the front here, which are just superb. They even stop a bit of wind getting through, which probably isn't great as I've not got a vent at the minute, but they actually hold the heating really well blackout curtains from Van X. They're not the cheapest curtains you can get. You can probably make your own for a lot cheaper. I've just not got that skill set where I can think, ah, yeah, it needs to look like this and it needs to fit here. Just, yeah, it's not me. But these are absolutely perfect. I think it was about 157 pounds, which is the most money I've ever spent on curtains in my life. I don't even think I spent that to cover a whole house in curtains before. Alison probably has made me spend more on blinds but yeah 157 quid for curtains i never thought i'd say it but it's a bargain yeah if you can't afford them that's i understand that definitely utilize something cheaper but i just think in general having this cut off here wicked and they stop all the light getting in and stop little pervs if you stop at a dog in sight not that i do stop at dogging sites I'm, i might have done i've just never been dogging anyway i'm digging a deeper hole here but yeah Van Eyck's curtains work wicked, bit of a fiddle, but once they're in, yeah, wicked, perfect little setup. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tour of my VW Caddy Micro Camper, and I hope it has given you some ideas. If you've got kids and you're thinking of how to utilise some of the space in the back of your VW Caddy to uh, enable you to get out and get on some adventures, because it is possible even with kids. You've got those little two seats there that you could potentially utilise to make part of your bed. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have enjoyed the video and found it useful then please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.